We're going to go to Trey Yingst. He's joining us live at that air base. Hey, Trey. Hey, Julie, good morning. Reports do indicate those 13 hostages are now in Egypt. They were greeted by Shin Bet officers from Israeli intelligence to confirm their identities, and they are headed to Israel. We are told the Red Cross facilitating that release from Hamas custody to the Red Cross and ultimately to Israel. This has been an agonizing nearly seven weeks for the Israeli population. That ceasefire going into effect 11 hours ago. And it does appear to be holding for now as this process plays out for the hostages. We are at the Hatsarim Air Base in southern Israel, outside of the city of Beersheba. This is the first location in Israel that the hostages will come to. We're not sure yet if they'll arrive here by helicopter or by bus. But once here, they will be medically evaluated. They'll be able to make phone calls with loved ones. And then ultimately, they will be transferred to other medical facilities or centers across Israel. This has been just a moment of, of anticipation for the Israeli population as they watch this play out. The Israeli military and government trying to do everything they can for these hostages. We saw ambulances arriving here earlier today. We've also seen video of the noise-canceling headphones, the sunglasses, the blankets, just anything that they can do to make these hostages comfortable when they are released. Remember, we're talking about 13 people here, women and children, and they are being exchanged for 24 female Palestinian prisoners and 15 male Palestinian teenagers. As we push forward in this story, the break in the fighting expected to last for four days, and if it goes as planned, could see 50 Israeli hostages released in exchange for 150 Palestinian and prisoners. Remember, though, that tension on the ground as thousands of Israeli infantry troops continue to operate inside Gaza. They are holding their fire for now, but prepared for anything in the coming days.